Hi everyone, I'm Belinda and today in the studio I'm going to bevel a plexiglass plate that is being used as a dry point engraving. Beveling means taking the sharp edge off the top of the plate, the part that will be inked and pressed against paper. If you'd like to learn how to do that, please follow along. For this project I've used three tools a flat file, a triangular file, and sandpaper over a block. This one has a funny name. It's a double cut bastard. Double cut refers to parallel lines or teeth that are crossing at opposing angles all the way down the file. This is a triangular file that's single cut. You'll notice the parallel lines do not cross and they're much closer together so this leaves a smoother surface. There are links to resources to get these tools in the Show More box underneath this video window. Each file is about 10 or $12 and they're made out of hardened steel, so with uh, good care they'll last a lifetime. I'd recommend beveling your plate before you do any engraving or carving on it. Whether your plate is engraved or not, you'll want to protect the surface, so I'm using scrap pieces of cardboard here. Rubber tipped spring clamps do a good job of holding the plate down, angle them out so that you can get to the full length of one side. And the double cut flat file will be the first tool we use. This is a shaping tool and it works quickly to remove material. The teeth on this file will leave grooves in the plexiglass. So to remedy that, we'll go down to a smoother file and use the single cut. Any grooves in the bevel will hold ink and we don't want that, so the third piece we use is 320 grit sandpaper on a block. This part is important. Friction against plexiglass causes heat and heat releases vapors. One of the gases is called methyl methacrylate monomer or MMA. Exposure to MMA can cause eye irritation, respiratory irritation, nausea, and headache, so please ventilate and wear a respirator. Put a tarp or an old towel underneath your work area to catch the shavings, and begin beveling, as shown here, by taking your double cut file and holding it at a 30 to 45 degree angle from the top surface of the plate. Now I'm rounding the corners of the plate here, which you can skip. I like to take the sharp corners off because you handle the plate a lot for inking, printing, and cleaning. I also like the way the rounded corners look on the plate impression left on the paper. One of the things that you'll notice here is that by abrading the surface while we're beveling, it leaves a bit of a milky color on the edge, which makes it easy for you to see if your bevel is nice and straight. The angle that you hold the file has a huge effect on whether or not your bevel is straight, so try to keep it steady and then take breaks and check your work. I've never minded beveling plates, but I have friends who really don't enjoy it at all. One of the things that you can do to help pass the time while you're working on this is listening to music or audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks and it keeps me in the studio longer and I find that I do a little bit more of a careful job. Here you can see the milky edge of the bevel is showing an uneven line. I need to go back in and bevel some more. The unbeveled edges of a plexiglass plate can be quite sharp. These will easily cut through your printmaking paper and the blankets if you are printing on a press. If you're working on a borrowed press, you absolutely want to bevel your plates. This is the plate impression on the back of a print. This was a beveled plate. So beveling is good in that it protects the paper and the blankets in our hands. And we sand the bevel smooth so that it doesn't hold ink and we get a clean plate impression. Now if you like the look of a dark border, you can leave your beveled edge a little bit rough so that it does hold some ink and you'll get a dark border all the way around the print as I did in this one. After you've beveled the entire plate using the double cut rough file, you can move to the single cut triangular file and go over all of the beveled edges again. With this file, you'll want to keep your 30 to 45 degree angle, just like you did with the double cut flat file. 
and you'll probably notice that the material coming off of the plate is a finer granularity than it was with the double cut. You're now smoothing out some of the rough edges left by the first file. By putting a 45 degree angle on the bevel, the back edge of the plate, the underside, can get a little sharp. Take your file at a perpendicular angle to the edge of the plate and run the length of the plate sanding off that sharp edge. After you've used the single cut file all the way around the plate, you can switch to the sanding block with the 320 grit sandpaper. You'll see the stuff coming off the plate is even finer still, so be careful to wear your respirator. When you're finished, you'll have a beautifully beveled plate all the way around. Congratulations. So now you know how to bevel a plate. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if this was helpful to you, please leave me a thumbs up so I know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.